Hey guys, welcome to B-Side TV. I'm your host, Courtney Ray Allen, and we are here live at the Satellite with Katie Brooks. How are you feeling, babe? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good. So Katie's going to be performing Trouble So Hard from her newest album, Revolute, and also State of Mind, which is going to be a B-Side track. Take it away, Katie. Thanks. Wait, let me tell you what a brother will do for your face She got love for you Wait, let me tell you what a brother will do for your face She got a love for you Behind your back, scan a lot, your name is just the same You got to bear the blame Well, I said, well my trouble so high Ooh, Lord, my trouble so high Ooh, Lord, my trouble so high Don't nobody know my troubles but God Well, let me tell you what a sister will do for your face She got love for you Well, I said, well, Lord, my trouble so high Ooh, Lord, my trouble so high Ooh, Lord, my trouble so high Don't nobody know my troubles but God
And the roads that wind you Won't be the earth that binds you Won't be the earth that binds you In this state of mind And only light Well, call me down For I am in spite of myself now And I'm holding on Yeah You killed that performance, first of all. You're welcome. So how did you kind of discover your sound? Because you have a really soulful, moving voice. So how did you discover that? Thank you. Um, it, it was quite a process. I mean, I've been singing for a long time. Um, but it wasn't until a few years ago, actually, that um, a manager of mine at the time, her name was Katie, uh, when I had first moved to London like six years ago, she was like, why aren't you, why aren't you using like, your full range? You've got this voice and you've got this voice. I've heard it. You do it privately, but you don't seem to do it with your songs. Like, what's that about? And I was like, I don't know, you know, I'm a bit nervous and, you know, I'm a bit shy. <laughs> and uh, she's like, well, you have to. And, and that was when I kind of let it all out, really. That's cool. Someone else kind of, like, pushed it out of you a little bit. That's cool. So Revolut, your album, came out in June. Congratulations. It's been a couple months now, so it's all settled in and out in the world. <laughs> What's your most personal song on that album? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Uh, oh, if I don't say in your arms, my girlfriend will kill me. Um, <laughs> but I mean, that's personal for many reasons. Um, and I guess uh, Call Out, uh, this, yeah, that's a very emotional song for me. Um, oh, oh, wow, no one's ever asked me that before. <laughs> that's so hard. Do you know what? Jeremiah is the one that moves me the most. And there's such a story, and I know I probably don't have time to tell the story, but it's um, come to a show, and, and you know, when I play it, I'll, I'll tell the story. But this, the song Jeremiah, just, just I, I can't even listen to it without being moved, which is, sounds really arrogant. It's not about that. It's just... There's something in the energy of that song. I don't even feel like I wrote it, you know. That's so funny because I listened to it in the car before we got here. And I was like, this, I think Jeremiah is my favorite. That's so, it's just weird that you said it. So I was like, that's so cool. Okay, so you write and you also produce your songs, I read. What is that process like for you? Kind of how does from beginning to end, if you could just put it in. Um, well, I guess, I mean, all the writing happens first so um, sometimes I'll just grab my guitar and I'll just some lyrics and some melody will come out everything tends to come out at the same time um, and so that's mainly how I write just me and my guitar occasionally if my piano player is with me and, and we're doing some recording I'll go like oh do you, you want to just put me on a mic and play some chords and we'll just go with it and so he'll he'll we'll press record he'll play some chords and I'll just start singing and I'll sing lyrics that don't exist and then when I feel like the structure is there I'll go off and listen to that and then write the lyrics and finish the melody and um so that's how Jeremiah was written um and call out and and we the people actually um and then I mean it really depends I mean with Revolut it was just such an organic easy process I don't do a lot of planning when putting tracks together I just I do it in layers um I think most people create the track and then they put the vocal over the top I do the vocal and, and the guitar and then I create the track around that um I suppose I yeah I produce like a singer-songwriter um with with the singer-songwriter's head um and um, within your arms, I mean, that was the easiest one. It was like I wrote it in 20 minutes, almost a year ago today, actually. Um, it was a very poignant day. And I called my piano player, who happened to be driving to London to record Jeremiah. And I said, 
we're going to have to put Jeremiah on hold, need to record in your arms, I can hear the whole thing, need to do it now. And everything was sort of done within about 36 hours. So, yeah, I mean, obviously the mix takes a bit longer and that's the wonderful Paul's job. He's amazing. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's organic. Wow, get it, girl. <laughs> so since you did your B-side track, what is one B-side track from another artist that's your absolute favorite and why? So this is actually one of my favorite songs of all time, and it's by Fleetwood Mac, and it's never going back again. I just, there's something so sweet and genuine and sort of tender about the, um, the guitars. It's really fun to play, actually. I taught myself a while back, and it's just like, oh, it's really satisfying. Um, but it's just... I don't know. I love the simplicity about it. It says everything it needs to say, and it doesn't say that much, but it says a lot, you know? Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, thank you so much. You were such a pleasure, Katie. If you guys want to find Katie on Instagram or YouTube, at Katie Brooks, that's K-A-T-E-Y. I'm your host, Courtney Ray Allen for B-Side TV. We are live at Satellite in Silver Lake. We'll catch you guys next time.